I want to find P of 5, where the polynomial is given here. Now, obviously, one way to do it would be to just place a 5 wherever you see an x, and then multiply it out. But that would require you to take 5 and raise it to the 7th power, and then you'd be subtracting off 25 times 5 to the 5th power, and 31 times 5 to the 3rd power, and so forth. So these would be very big numbers that you'd have to work with. Nevertheless, you could do it that way. See, here's what you get when you do it that way. Now, I didn't have any trouble doing it because I had the computer do the computations. But if you had to do this by hand, it would take you a really long time. These would be very messy computations, I think. At least fairly troublesome if you did it term by term and started adding these things up as you went. So a better way to do it is to use synthetic division. So here's the same problem done with synthetic division. So I have a 1 for the x to the 7th, a 0 here for x to the 6th, a minus 25 for x to the 5th, and then I have a 0 for x to the 4th, a minus 31 for the x to the 3rd, a 150 for x squared, and then there's a 0 for uh, the x, you see, because there isn't any x term here, and then 124. So I put the 5 here, bring down the 1, 1 times 5 is 5, 5 plus 0 is 5, and then I have here, it should be 25, not minus 25. And then we add these together and we get 0, and then we take 5 times 0 is 0, add those we get 0, 5 times 0 is 0, minus 31, 5 times minus 31 is minus 155, then we add these together and we get negative 5, and then 5 times negative 5 is minus 25, add them, multiply by 5 again and you get negative 1. You see, none of these computations were terribly difficult. Whereas if you just did it term by term, figuring this out, figuring this out, figuring this out, and starting to add these up, it would take you a lot longer.